Hi, my name is Lee from Frontier Egg and Turf in Hastings, Minnesota. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove the cab on the new E-Series skid steers. For safety reasons, the first thing we want to do is, is lock the boom in the up position. So once you've raised the boom as high as you can, basically all you have to do is move this lever over, drop the boom down just about a foot until you feel it lock into place, and then you're free to get out and, and remove the cab. Basically, to get started on the cab, we've got just two bolts that we need to remove with an 18 millimeter inner socket. As you can see at this point, we have access to the main part of the engine. All right, next we're gonna remove the floor pan. To do that, we're gonna to switch to a 13 millimeter socket and we're going to remove the six bolts that are inside. Very easy to get to. All right, so now we've got all the bolts out. Now it's basically you just lift the floor pan out. And there we have complete access to the engine. Now we'll put the floor pan back in. As you can see, it's very, it drops in very easily. Now we just have to put the six bolts back in. Three on each side, tighten them up. That's all there is to it to put the floor pan back in. Now we'll put the cab, put the cab back on. <clears throat> First of all, we need to release it. Now this show is a little taller, but I can still reach it. Once it's down, all we have to do now is put on the two bolts. And that's all there is. We removed, lifted the cab out of the way, removed the floor pan, all within maybe five to 10 minutes at the most. Well, thanks very much for watching this video. I hope we were able to demonstrate just how easy it is to remove the cab on the new John Deere E-Series skid steer.